was recently in America for the Gamers Outreach charity event with a bunch of other Hermitcraft members. Okay, we are currently at the Gamers Outreach charity auction. I am building the pillar for the monument at the moment. Everybody is streaming. Yesterday was chaos, but I thought that I would show you guys around a little bit today. We've got all of the hermits streaming here. We've got False, Escal, Tango, Joe Hills, Impulse, Skiz, Korean, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Hi. <laughs> and we got Martin and stage running everything. This entire setup is absolutely incredible. We're doing a push now, writing on signs on the Hermitcraft server to build a permanent monument in the world. We're working towards a goal that's going to unlock Nerf guns. It's going to be amazing. He's going, he's going. Oh, who's he fighting? Who's he fighting? <laughs> <laughs> he said, take your time, look at the name. So like, Hi, false. Hello. Oh, vlog. I'm busy writing signs. I'm you're, I'm so oh, no, you're going to be doing that all day. I'm catching up, though. I'm catching up. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. And Pearl's building. Yeah. I am building. Pearl. But it's okay. I got, like, I got to wait until green comes up. Builder in action. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh gosh! Show me that, show me that. No, no, no. Show me that. Get on the camera. I want them to see me here. Let's not back into it. Oh no! Don't do it! Don't do it! I want my chopper! Hey, I'm gonna share as well. Got him! Oh gosh! You are a scar. <laughs> Coming back from a trip like that is pretty difficult. It was pretty like go, 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 high intensity all stream weekend. And now I'm back on the Hermitcraft server, kind of chilling, trying to get back into my routine of work and making videos. And I have to admit, before I left for this event, I was in a pretty good flow with how I was building everything. I really like where we're going with the skull. I like the village over here. Our shops were doing fantastic. I had a good, you know, thing going. And uh, I, I feel like I kind of lost it. Maybe not lost in like the super dramatic, like, oh, I'm burnt out, I don't know how to get started again type of way, but just in like a, I turned my brain off for a minute and I forgot where I was. <laughs> I took my pencil off of the piece of paper and I don't remember where to put it back. So I've decided to once again take inspiration from my neighbors, in particular this time, Grian, who has been marking out this big structure here, which I really appreciate because it lets me see how his base is gonna start kind of coming over here and tying in to mine. Connections between bases is something I really wanna focus Focus on this season, and mine and Green's connection is going pretty good with this power line. However, me and Skiz, we're gonna have a connection, and we've talked about a connection, but I haven't actually put that into action yet. So, last night while I was on, I decided to mark out a little structure over here, and that kind of got me thinking. Maybe I should do this more. <laughs> like maybe it would be easier to come in and out of projects here if I kind of just framed a few things out and got my plans straight in my head. So let me use this wall here to just highlight some of my main plans. First of all, the big terrain. Now everything in this base has like a little bit of terrain, but when I talk about the big terrain, I'm talking about the surrounding area around the skull and also the skull itself and also this whole area right in front. Not exactly sure how to mark this out, but I know that I want a pretty rocky, nice piece of terrain here with a path winding between it on this side and a river over on this side. And then somehow, probably a little bridge here. Yeah. That'll kind of remind me what I'm doing. Next up, we have a couple of the big important structures. I'm taking inspiration from the game Dredge, of course. So the first big important structure is going to be the collector's house. The second big important structure is going to be the research center. And then just generally in between those things, we have the village, the organic, 
and the forest. Something that I wanna make extremely clear is that where I'm building right now, this is the mega base, which I know is very different from last season where I kind of built a starter base and moved. But this season, I'm staying right here. I'm gonna squeeze my mega base between Tango, Skiz, and Grian, and it's gonna be epic. So for my two main big structures, the collector's house, I've decided I want to use that as my little transition here by Skiz. So I've already gone ahead and marked out a little area next to him and checked with him to make sure that that's not too close. I was originally going to put some structures here in front of the skull, but I actually think after thinking about it, the terrain would be better here and then like a foresty vibe because I want to frame the skull, not block the view of it from here. So we'll have Green's things on this side, mine and Skiz's things things on this side and then in between we'll have like some nice terrain and forest and that way no views get blocked. Really important, we gotta think about our lines of sight. And speaking of, another one is going to be over here. This big hill right now has all my farms in it, but I want to turn this into a research center. I haven't quite decided what the vibe of this structure should be yet, but I figure if I just put a few of these pillars, I can kind of remind myself where my sight lines should go and hopefully focus in a bit more. And also me doing this is gonna tell Tango where I plan to build up here, which should hopefully help our transition here a bit better. want to commit to something too large, so I feel like that is roughly on scale of my skull, my lighthouse, and then the center. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good three points. And then of course we're going to want more of this structure over here where my uh, snail landed. It's not much and it's certainly not a solid plan, this may change, but it just kind of reminds me that a structure is going to be up here, which is really going to help while I'm trying to visualize everything that goes on here. And speaking of everything that goes on here, I think another important point is going to be adding the rest of the structures. Right now we have three here and they're all very much on the coastline. We need another couple of structures that are maybe a bit more inland. Maybe a structure could go right here. This could be cool potentially around this melon farm. This melon farm can definitely go. There is totally room for a structure right here. Maybe even a little bit more like here. And then between these two builds here, we'll have our road continue along. I know I'm doing this in a very like thinking out loud sort of way right now, but this really genuinely helps me kind of get all of my ideas in order, which is especially important after a break. Okay, I have to admit, I already feel better with just that tiny little bit of planning. Oh, it's raining. It rains so rarely on this server. I feel like this is such a good opportunity to look at my base with the rain shaders in the rain oh my gosh <laughs> it's basically it's basically just nighttime whoa oh i like it <laughs> any opportunity for there to be like a moody sort of setting here i just take full advantage and this has me very inspired for the next section of this build which is going to be the collector's house very important and situated right over here between my base and skizzes i originally marked out this sort of structure here because i knew i wanted a fairly large structure with a tower however this is an awkward sort of shape. I think it would be better suited if we block off this entire area, have an archway to walk through, and then do more of a diagonal. Sometimes it takes me actually putting down a little structure like this in order to actually figure out what the heck I wanna do. Just gotta get the brain working again, it's all good. The reason the rain is making me really wanna build this is because this is by far like one of the moodiest, spookiest structures that I'm going to be building. And because of that, I'm actually not gonna be building it out of the same palette. I do wanna still go with dark oak and definitely still spruce. And I think just to make things consistent, we will use some jungle wood, but that's roughly where the similarities stop. Well, other than the tough and the mossy and the cobble deep slate and the foundation. I wanna use some darker blocks. So um, we might have to actually do some shopping for this. Let's head over to the shopping district and see if I can think of any other blocks that I may wanna use. Five diamonds per stack, good Lord. Better check my own profits. Oh, thank goodness we have some. <laughs> also gonna need some bone blocks. Two diamonds per 32. That I can definitely do. And four diamonds per stack. 
Yep, shopping for building blocks is a pretty expensive endeavor. It's alright though. This should get me started. Everything else, I think I can gather myself. All right, now that I'm poor again, let's let's get building. Alrighty, and just like that, we've got a little outline. I've also been working on figuring out the heights of this thing. Again, sight lines are pretty important here. I don't want to completely block off my neighbors, but I like that through here, once this is up, we won't be able to see Impulse's Cyber City from here. You'll have to kind of reveal it as you go through the archway, which I think will be a really good payoff once all the builds are done. But it's also important to me that I don't block off Skiz's main build, which is the pyramid. So we're going to be keeping this waterway here pretty open. I think I've actually got enough blocks here that I should be able to start framing out a ton of the roof lines without too many more materials being gathered. Lots of details and overhangs are going to be pretty important to me here. I'm thinking, I mean, maybe we do this? Either that or we go with slabs underneath. Yeah, maybe that option. I think by far the most difficult part of this build is going to be getting the scale right. I kind of want it to be slightly bigger and more complex than these builds, which we've definitely got based on the outline, but I don't want it to be so big and complex that it overshadows Skiz's starter base and mailbox and stuff over here. And also I don't want it to take away from my skull. There's definitely a balancing act to be had. And that balance is something that I have not yet achieved. So here's me redoing a section of the build to fix the scaling a little bit. This took a lot of fiddling, I'll admit. Building's going well. Can't help but notice though, every time I fly over here to get a look at what I'm doing, I see this. <laughs> I think Grian is trying to compete with Scar and I think we're gonna have to try and help him. Nothing quite like a little building break to do some mining. Whenever I'm away from Minecraft for a long time, this is one of the very first things that I miss. Just simply turning off my brain and mining. I find it so soothing. While I was doing this particular mining trip, I had a Tango Tech stream up in the background. It was so fun to just watch one of my friends who I was just hanging out with in real life do a bunch of redstone while I was doing some mining. And after 30 minutes in the mines, whew, it's nice to see daylight again, but I have to say of the things that Grian needs for his tower, I didn't actually get much. I'm contributing 44 gold, 31 deep slate, and 27 lapis ore, which is such a tiny amount compared to what he needs, but it's still better than nothing. I guess I'll just leave this. Oh, he has so much. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll uh, put those in there for him. You're welcome, Green. You're welcome. In other news, I see that my beacon is red, which means I have mail. Let's see who it's from. <laughs> wow, some sold by Etho. I assume that's all it says. Some yellow glass has sold. Here is your 50% share. <laughs> wow, some sold. Very good. Very good. Now, of course, I'm an Etho girl, so I will feel bad if we don't send him something back. So let's go ahead and insert a stamp and maybe, you know what? <laughs> I don't really need all of this deep slate redstone ore and I feel like he'll appreciate it. Thanks, Etho. Keep marketing that yellow glass. P.S. Where is my trident farm you promised? There we go. Gosh, this thing is cool. In order to move on to the next section of this build, I'm gonna need a lot more nether brick because I think that's gonna go really well for the collector's house. And buying it at five diamonds a stack is just uh, not feasible, although I have already bought some to support wells. How can I help you, Jem? Wow, that, that was right on cue. <laughs> Good job, where's your hair? <laughs> oh, uh, I, took it, I took it off. I'm doing a little experiment over there. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. right. Uh, do you have nether bricks? Mm-hmm. Yes. I need a They're lot. my gold farm. Okay. Can Wanna I? go on a road trip? Yeah. I mean. Okay. Sure. Come on in. Oh, you you've been looking in here, haven't you? I no, see. No. Follow me. Follow me. We gotta go to the nether. Here we are. Here you go. Look. Nether bricks. In raw form, even. Whoa. Take them. Take them. I don't need them. 
now that I think about this, I have not brought the inventory space for this, but this is <laughs> so fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, now you know where it is. Feel free to just come grab because it's going to waste right now. I've filled up my entire storage and it's all just getting deleted. So please That's take. That's no good. Oh, you can't delete it. This is a precious block. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now you can have it for oh, free. I think someone's selling it. Blackstone. Just don't tell me. Yes. Feel free to take that. I'm also full out on that one. This is amazing. I'm going to be back here. Excellent. You're the best. Have I ever told you that? Not enough. Not enough. I, could, I could hear it more often, to be honest. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> you're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, amazing. With access to more darker blocks, this is really going to help vary the color palette that we have going here. And as you can see, the shape is looking fantastic. Flying in from the bay now, it's going to look so cool. Going past Grian's cranes and his big structure here into this larger structure, I feel like it just breaks up the area perfectly. And of course, these darker blocks were actually for the main bit of the roof. So we're still outlining in the dark oak, same as over there. But instead of using the bright, cheery jungle wood, we're going to be using blackstone and nether bricks. Just starting to kind of see how these different roofs converge. And I think I'm going to have the purple meet some of these darker colors here. I think that's going to actually work out. This style is almost bringing me back into sort of a medieval type of build, sort of inspired by my friend Mythical Sausage, honestly. I feel like this is a scale that I don't work within a lot, but I see Sausage do it all the time. Now, I do, of course, want to tie it in at least a little bit with my village, so I was hoping I could use some of these copper slabs. We don't have a lot in the green area with stairs and slabs, so Oh, I just want to see if this is going to work. <laughs> Give me a moment. Let's try a little section right here. And then we just shave a bunch of this down. Oh, not that much. <laughs> Whoops. I was hoping then with maybe a little bit of grass or something, it would look like kind of a more run down spot and would fit in with the jungly theme that we are going with. Honestly, it doesn't look too out of place. I think with some more details, this will be totally fine. Before we get too deep into thinking about colors and details, let's go ahead and basically color in the rest of this build. We need all of the walls, all of the roofs, and then we can start adding the intricate bits. We had a deal, right, Etho? What's Skiz oh talking no, about? Skiz. I wish you'd visit Skiz. Okay, so yesterday, hi. Oh my, I don't have time for that right now. <laughs> so yesterday, um, so I killed Flaggy yesterday and I had the omen effect. I'm like, I'm just gonna leave. So I left. I came back in, I still had the effect and then the second I came in, a raid started. And it's over there by my house. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah. I see it. <laughs> so, you know. Good for me. And of course, I don't have my weapons on me. <laughs> of course you don't, Skiz. Of course you don't. Well, if, you just <laughs> if you just ignore the problem, it'll go away. That's, that's usually <laughs> that's usually what I do I with life's problems I have to build over well. there. <laughs> I, I tried to ignore that. I, I tried to ignore it by leaving yesterday, but uh, that that went poorly. Yeah, yeah, you got to ignore it for longer. See, with, with long-term issues like this, you've really got to commit. Just don't come back for like, I don't know, a couple months. Oh, come on. That's too mean. All right, what, what are we going to do? Well, go kill him, Skiz. Punch him. Well, the, but, but I told you what to do. Leave it. Ignore it. It's it's Will it's it only be... your problem if you claim it as your problem. <laughs> You're right. You guys heard nothing. You guys, are... <laughs> guys, there's a raid over there. How'd that happen? See? Already getting into character here. Well, should I go look at it? 
Is it going to kill Impulse's villagers? I, I think you're not understanding what I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I can't help but think you aren't hearing my words. <laughs> okay, he's right. I haven't ignored it. I'm going to move. So I just can't go over there for now, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on with my life. No, it's not that you can't go over there. It's that you don't. Oh, right, 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 right. In fact, why don't we just turn this way? Oh, look at this beautiful. You see, look. Gone. Uh, the problem's gone. The pro <laughs> I see no problem here. <laughs> Vanished. Yeah. If we don't want to go with green solution, what we can do instead is kill almost all of them except one and then bury the other one in a Ooh, hole. That's good. That is good. Okay. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. He likes my idea better. <laughs> well, listen. Now, what it looks like's happening is that you're falling into the trap of doing something. Oh. <laughs> See, I've fallen into that one before. Here's Forks. the thing. Here's the thing. You don't need to do it. Right. You don't need to. Okay. Right. But, but we could also just be proactive and handle the problem. It's like you're you're each on my shoulder. I got the, the angel and devil on my shoulder right now. Ooh, you know what? I'm, gonna I'm the I'm angel, gonna right? I'll sleep on it. I'll sleep, I'm going to sleep on it. Yeah, you're the angel saying do the right thing, and, and G uh, is doing what I see, want. See, from my perspective, I'm the angel. What do I do? I what I'm saying, Skiz, is I believe See, in you and you can handle this. Well, I can definitely take them out, but you're right. I, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And then we just, okay. Okay. Who, what? Ready? One, two, three. Not it. Well, I'm definitely not it. I'm, ad okay, I'm the biggest Jeff's advocate do it. of not it. <laughs> that took how, so about, how about we all not it? <sighs> I love the frustration. There's only like two <laughs> left. Just put them in a hole, Skiz. Oh. Oh. It's not rocket science yeah, here, buddy. Them, if, one, if one of them falls to their death, then it's going to be up. Oh. Okay. Okay. So one, it's this guy here. You deserve oh, no. You're going to you just started a new. Oh. oh, here we go. It's flaggy. Too. You guys have a right, fire. Let's... Oh. <laughs> Up. <laughs> Up. But now it's starting again. Uh oh. Green. This is what happens when you when you sort out your problems. I had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have the next wave. Yeah, because we failed to bury them. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so, so same plan. Yeah. Oh, See, this is what you get for dealing with your problems head on. <laughs> you kind of deserve this. If, 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 if it's you not that bad, you green, weirdos. You'd be up there on that pyramid, having a nice cold glass of lemonade. Probably watching Jem do this. Can you yes, two exactly. just get to work? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right, so I need. I buried I one. I buried one. Just kill. Oh, you did. So we we can kill the rest. Don't. But you're gonna get the omen effect. Oh. I'm the solver of all your problems. You don't get the omen effect. Nope. Green. Green. Did he do it? You green. Griefer. You naughty. <laughs> naughty. <laughs> there's ignoring your problems, and then, and then there's intentionally creating more. That's why he's the devil on your shoulder. I'm trying to teach you a lifelong lesson here. It's. Hey, the lesson is sticking. Well, what's Bam. up? <laughs> Boom. What's up? All right. So okay, guys brilliant. Go now go. we ignore it. Grin. 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 No. Grin. Did he do it? Uh, did he there's kill about it? to be a ravager at your base. Grin. We had it solved. <laughs> If you, well, it didn't look solved to me. You're not very looks good like, at ignoring problems. Looks like the problems. problem's getting worse to me, because you're trying to deal with it. But we did, we had it, we, well, we can't ignore it now. Okay, yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Woo. Oh, and they brought themselves a witch! Kill oh, that witch! Ravager. This Ravager had no idea what was coming. Velocity. Dead. Oh, <laughs> nice. That was good. Velocity. <laughs> okay, we got to keep one. No, no, no. Just kill him. Ow, Green. You, you want me. You want another raid? You want to. Goodness sake. Look at me. I don't like living in ignorance. <laughs> Green. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jeb, get up here. I need, I need that Sorry, Jeb. Oh, I'm sure you are, yeah. He crossed my path as I was firing at a <laughs> at a guy. Jem, that was a heck of a yard sale. You exploded with inventory. <laughs> I was building before we did this. <laughs> this is what happens when That's I'm amazing. building. <laughs> nice. All right, and 
What's up? Sorry. What's up? <laughs> Sorry. It's easily done, isn't it? <laughs> he was right next to it. Is this gonna go on? I thought it'd be done. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Well, so Gemstone, you promised me like this would be over. Like I right really, now. I thought this I case. knew things. I don't know anything. I mean, I don't want to be that guy who said I told you so. Yes, you do. We could have stopped I love, this so I love many being, times. I love being the I told we you so guy. We had the opportunity to compromise here. Listen. Gemstone Green would take I told you so slow intravenous drip if he could. Just right there. <laughs> if you could liquidize it, I'd be sipping that cup of tea every day. Okay, well, as much as I'm loving this chat, there's two Ravagers up there with evokers riding them. Oh, good. That's good. Oh, get away from well, me. Well, I think this is, a good, this is a good spot to just leave the problem now. Oh, is it? <laughs> We, yep. we're almost there. Oh, here's my stuff. Okay. We can bury this last guy if you want. But this should be it. Don't, this is no, it. no, we're this not burying it. the last guy. We're killing it. We're getting Hero we're of the up. Village. Yeah, we're getting it done. Can't even Let's find him. Go. One shot. One kill. Yay! Woo! We did it, Skiz. That was awesome. I think, I think we all learned a valuable lesson. When you have a problem, you should hit it head on. You shouldn't dilly dally. You shouldn't just ignore it and turn around. You should always deal with your problems. <laughs> that is me Perfect. dealing with my problems. <laughs> I might be getting carried away with things in this build, but I'm having a lot of fun. I was literally online last night until like 11 p.m. my time, which I never do, but I just got really into the trees. I mean, look at that. It's basically just a giant version of the palm trees that I did around my starter base over there. And I really like the scale of them, and I think I want like 20. <laughs> <laughs> a whole forest of them would be so cute. Just look at how that breaks up the skyline there. Also, the dirt that's in the background, I wanna blend that a lot better with the skull. I'm probably doing things out of order, but I'm just kind of doing them when I get inspired by them. And right now, I'm pretty inspired by the trees. As for the structure itself, as you can see, I've also kind of buried that in with a big fern here. I've been like shading the ferns with various colors of leaves. It's really taken up a lot of space in my inventory. Uh, inside, yeah, pretty rough. We don't need to look at that. But uh, overall, it's it's coming together. It needs a lot of details, but it's coming together. Now, uh, put my meat. Just gonna uh, get some more trees going here. Huh. Another one here. That was easy. All right, last one for today, and done. Okay, this collector's house is quickly becoming one of my favorite areas. That borders that area of my land so well, it really helps the transition over to Skiz. Again, me and Skiz discussed kind of wanting to work on a biome together. We already did a little bit of the terraforming for that together here, um, but there's going to be even more. So these palm trees will hopefully blend in with jungle. I'm doing big palm trees out around the coast and then more mangrovey feel as we get in towards Tango. Oh, this is such a lovely start. I'm so pleased. Moving on to the detail work now. I did a bunch of this on stream. So if you actually want to see the close up, not sped up version of me doing this detailing, I'll put a link to my second channel down below where you can watch it raw. But basically I was just looking at the build, looking at which areas needed what and trying to add the larger scale details to things, you know, windows, doors, chimneys, extra towers, those sort of details. There is still a lot to do around this build, including the interior, but for today I'm pretty happy. Building this has been so fun. I'm genuinely very pleased with our collector's house so far, but I think that's about all the time that I have for today. I'm really excited to continue all the projects that we planned out today, and of course, finish up the interior and also some of the exterior of this collector's house. Things are going well at my Hermitcraft base, and I can't wait to hear all of your ideas and suggestions down in the comments down below. For now though, that's where I'm gonna leave you. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.